Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about depression and negative self-talk. So I have like a very simple life strategy exercise that I can share with you today to really nix and nip in the bud any type of negative self-talk that we all suffer from. And at the worst end of the scale, it formulates as depression. Like when we really constantly giving ourselves a lot of criticism and a lot of negative talk, it can often manifest as depression. So at whichever place on the scale where you sit, whether you're um, just like from time to time have a negative thought about yourself or whether you actually super don't even want to get out of bed, we all sit somewhere on that scale. And so this can help you no matter where you're at in your journey with uh, your beliefs and bringing yourself up around the most conducive circumstances to really get the best out of your life. So these harsh um, critical comments that we say to ourselves has a huge effect on the way that we experience our day-to-day -day lives. Our subconscious believes every single thing that you tell it. Like, have you ever seen that exercise um, that some people do, like where you hold your fingers like this and you stare at it and you say, okay, imagine there's two magnets and they're coming together, coming together, and then they touch. Or the, the one where you put your arms out and there's a bucket in one hand and a balloon in the other and you close your eyes and you imagine one hand has a balloon and it, it just gradually rises and the other one has a bucket and it drops. So even though we consciously know there is no balloon or bucket or there's no magnets in your fingers, the subconscious mind actually accepts it and will follow it no matter what you say. So that is really important to remember. Whatever you say to yourself, your subconscious mind will accept it. And that's why hypnosis is such a powerful tool in terms of reprogramming because we are constantly programming our minds. When we get in the car and there's traffic, we go, oh my God, we never get where we need to go on time. Or the kids are fighting again and you think to yourself, oh, why are the kids always fighting? So whatever messages we give ourselves, that creates our reality. So what you think creates your reality. And so that's why it's really important to identify what are the habitual thoughts that you tend to, to, um, to go back to over and over again. Um, we all have them, it's just to what degree. So this is the exercise. I suggest you take a pen and paper and write down every single thing that you ever say to yourself um, that's kind of negative or that doesn't really serve you in the right way. And not just um, surface level stuff. I want you to really look at the different areas of your life. What do you say about yourself in, rega in regards to relationships that's negative? Such as, I can't really give my heart to that person because they are untrustworthy. Um, I always get let down by the people that love me. Uh, I'm always lonely and no one calls me on my birthday. What are the negative thoughts that you say to yourself with regards to relationships? Write all of them down. The same goes with the other categories in your life, such as health. What are the things that you say to yourself? Like, for example, maybe every winter you say to yourself, ah, every winter I always get a cold. Or, um, ah, I just can't handle X, Y, Z anymore. Whatever are the things that you say to yourself that aren't so supportive, aren't the real way that you want to live, write them down in this list of self-limiting beliefs that you've got started here. Um, what about finances? What are your limiting beliefs around money? Do you believe, oh, I could never earn seven figures in a year? What do you believe about every time you open your purse? Do you say to yourself, um, oh, I've never got any money in here or oh, the kids are always taking my cash or I was with my cousin the other day and he I was commenting on his wallet and he said to me I hate handling money so these are the types of messages if you say that to yourself it shapes your reality if you say that you hate handling money then that is what you end up experiencing every time you touch money it turns into a nightmare um, other aspects that you want to, or categories you want to look at is also your career. What are your limiting beliefs around career? Like, do you sometimes say to yourself, ah, I always get passed up for a promotion? Or, why am I always number two and never number one? What are the things that you say to yourself? Write them down on a piece of paper. Then take some post-it notes 
And for each negative comment or limiting self-belief that you have on the list, write an antidote onto a post-it note for each and every one. And then I need you to be super specific. So if you say to yourself, for example, I just hate getting out of bed in the morning and that's on your list, then the remedy could be something like, um, getting out of bed is really rewarding because I have so much to share. Or if there's a negative belief such as, I don't know, maybe you can post one in the comment and I can give you the remedy for it. But for example, one of the ones that I have is, I never have enough time. And so what the remedy for that is, is there's always enough time for me in the day. I make everything work. That's important to me. So with each negative self-belief that you have on that list, make a post-it note with the equal and opposite, the remedy or the antidote, if you like. And then with these post-it notes, I hope you have at least 10 or 20 because we all have this, unless you're the Dalai Lama, you probably got something to write down on a post-it note. Um, and then with these post-it notes, put them around the house, put them on your mirror, put them on the top of your computer, on your glasses case, on the back of your mobile phone. And the other thing that you might be able to do with these um, beliefs that you have identified is you might be able to see that there is some kind of overarching pattern. What does everything come back to? And one of the most common kind of overarching themes for limiting belief is coming back to this one that I am not enough. So, so that's why the one I wrote down here is I am enough because this is such a key powerful belief that can really cover a lot of ground. A lot of the things that we believe about ourselves comes back to this. I'm not enough to have enough love. I'm not enough to be loved. I'm not enough to be successful in my career. So I am enough is a super clever um, way to really encompass a lot of limiting beliefs in one powerful affirmation. So yeah, just do keep in mind guys that whatever you tell yourself, whether it's rubbish or whether it's true, your subconscious mind will suck that up like a sponge. So let's make sure that you're telling yourself the most important and uplifting comments about yourself, really building yourself up so that you can be the best you can. If you have someone in your ear, it's yourself, if you have a voice in your ear walking around behind you the whole day saying, you're shit, you can never succeed, you'll, you'll just turn out exactly like your father, you'll never have that much money. If someone is walking around whispering that in your ear, how successful do you think you're going to be at all of those things? You're going to just end up repeating the same patterns over and over again. So what you think shapes your reality and it is really important guys to to make some post-it notes put them around the house whatever is relevant for you and i hope you enjoy this exercise please like comment and share it with someone who you think could really benefit from this so thanks guys and i hope you watch me again soon ciao